Hello students, I am Dr. Madhushri Haller from Sri Rampur Girls College, Department of Botany. Uh, today, I am working out a genus of the family Fabaceae, that is in uh, your syllabus, um, taxonomy syllabus. And today, um, I am working on um, the genus Cassia and the species is Tora. So, I will show you the single twig of um, cassia Tora. so that you can see the detailed morphology of the plant uh, actually it is uh, a herb and uh, the stem is not completely actually cylindrical uh, and uh, there are distinct ridges and furrow okay uh, and quite hard it is uh, that is actually very common plant and i have collected it uh, from my locality and that is hoori motion college uh, so the stem is green in color you can see that there are many small hairs on the stem and uh, a pungent odor is coming from the plant actually uh, look at the leaf i will show you the leaf is not entire and it is compound type of leaf and you can see that there are three pairs uh, and the stalk is quite long uh, and one more thing is that uh, there are free lateral stipule presence of free lateral stipule okay these are the stipules okay um, next thing is on the junction of each leaflet there are small glands i will show you the gland also okay so that is the gland at the junction of the each leaflet there are small glands okay and the uh, leaf base you can see that the leaf base is pulvinous swollen portion is called pul pulvinous leaf base uh, next thing is the morphology of leaf uh, sorry each leaflets uh, they are obtuse in shape you can see that the leaflets are obtuse in shape and three in pair uh, this type of uh, pinnate leaf is called uh, peripinnate compound because at the top you can see that the leaves at the top there the leaflets are actually in pair that's why it is called uh, peripinnate compound uh, next thing uh, is the flower okay uh, so that is a single flower of the genus cassia uh, you can see that the flower is pedicillate and pedicillate is actually quite long uh, there is bract okay there is bract and the flower is pedicillate uh, next thing is the flower is yellow in color and actually the petals are yellow in color and the sepals are green in color and the flower is actually uh, bisexual you can see that both androecium and gynoecium is there that's why it is bisexual and uh, zygomorphic in nature uh, so the next part of um, our work is dissection of the flower uh, one more thing i have to say that the flower arises from the axil of the each leaf you can see here that is um, each flower is uh, arises from the axil of the leaf base and in pair obviously the um, flower arises in pair okay so let's start the dissection of the flower for this we have to take a slide first and put some water on it so 
first thing is separate a single flower and this is a single flower of the genus cassia uh, first of all we have to separate out each sepal you can see that the sepals are five in number and green in color they are in free condition that is polypetalous condition let's let's separate each petals from the flower okay. and you can see that the sepals are unequal in size and shape also there are three quite larger completely larger sepals and two are smaller and this is small smaller petal in sepal okay so i have separate out each uh, sepals and you can see three smaller a uh, three larger and two smaller pet sepals uh, let's separate each petals and you can see that the petals are also in free condition that is polypetalous condition And let's come to the essential whole of the flower that is the androecium and gynoecium. You can see that the anthers uh, here is bithecus and basi fixed. Okay, the anthers are on the filament, that's why it is called basi fixed anther. And the anthers are in actually two whole, uh, the total number of anthers are 10. Okay, the total number of anthers 10 but 7 are fertile. You can see that 7 fertile and 3 are staminode. Here the staminodes. Okay, uh, that is mm, the filament is there but anther lobes are absent. Okay, th this is called staminode. Uh, out of this um, 7 fertile anther, uh, 4 are larger, uh, 4 are smaller and three larger okay let's separate each anther let's separate out each anther and staminodes also and then arrange in a slide Okay, and you can see that okay. also the staminode. Okay. And you can see that this is the gynoecium of the genus cassia okay this is actually the style and that is the stigma okay and this is the whole gynoecium now we have to arrange it in a slide okay i will show you the arranged view of all the floral parts of the genus cassia uh, here you can see that the um, five sepals 
uh, out of this five two are smaller and three are comparatively larger sepals uh, the petals are also five in number and they are also in polypetalous um, condition here uh, i have shown you the um, 10 anthers out of this three are comparatively larger and uh, here four are comparatively sm um, smaller anther and the three stamen nodes are there okay and this is the gynoecium i will show you the gynoecium also okay and this is the gynoecium so this is uh, the all floral parts of the genus cassia let's come to the portion next portion fruit So, you can see that, that is a fruit of cassia. Uh, it is a genus of Fabaceae. That's why the type of fruit is legume or pod. And uh, the inflorescence type of Fabaceae is actually Corimbo's resume. Okay. Here, you can see that the Corimbo's resin type of inflorescence that is the uh, pedicel is um, equal so that the height of unequal uh, so uh, here the fruit of the family Fabaceae is legume uh, next part is the procession of the ovary and the floral diagram i will show you the diagrammatic view of the procession of ovary and you can see that the ts of ovary of the genus and that shows marginal placentation uh, ovary unilocular next part is the floral diagram uh, here a uh, prominent bract is there and that is the mother axis these are the polysepalous calyx and these are the members of the uh, petals uh, that is also in uh, polypetalous condition here the uh, seven fertile anthers and three staminodes are there and at the center there is a uh, unilocular ovary with marginal placentation okay that's all for today uh, I think that video is helpful for the student.